What's up guys, I'm Rasim from RossmerTech.com. How you guys doing? I'm doing well. Hopefully you guys are doing well too. Now you guys can probably guess what's going on. You see a bunch of Raspberry Pis right here. I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven Raspberry Pis. Four of them are Raspberry Pi 3s and three of them are Raspberry Pi 2s. I got this switch right here and this switch has exactly eight ports. One for each Pi plus one that goes straight to my network, right? All right, guys, so now I can tell you what I'm building. This is gonna be another Raspberry Pi cluster supercomputer series. All right, so this cluster actually has a purpose this time. Not like my other supercomputer cluster series. This is gonna run Boink, and it's gonna run something called Einstein at Home. If you guys don't know what Boink is, Google it. I did a bunch of videos on Boink. I'll leave some of those videos in the description. Basically, we're gonna create a cluster supercomputer made out of these Raspberry Pis right here and we're gonna run Boink. So it, it's pretty cool. Some some other people have done it already. I, I really wanted to do it, and I have a lot of Raspberry Pis just laying around. I have a shit ton of them. I showed you guys in a video before. That's all the Raspberry Pis. I could do uh, a cluster of 12, but you know, I, I think this should be good enough. Now let me show you guys some of the parts. So right here, these are some of the cables. These are the micro uh, USB to like regular USB. Basically this is a, uh, this turns into three of these micro USB, so you can use one to power three. So that's why I brought these, I have a bunch of them. I I brought a lot of them because uh, the Radio Shack near my house is going out of business, so they marked everything down by like 60%. <laughs> so I figured why not, right? So I, I stocked up on all these cables. I know I would use them in the future. And uh, right here, this is the Pico power supply. You guys probably know what this is. I use this in a bunch of my projects. And I love this thing, and I'll leave a link to this in the description. But this is gonna power, I don't know if it's gonna power the pies, but it will definitely power this water cooling uh, setup here. And speaking of water cooling setups, this is not gonna be in the this project here. This is a Raspberry Pi Zero. But I have this like Velcro here, and I don't feel like taking it off. Now this bad boy will be in the project. This is my like single board computer water cooling rig I set up. I love this thing, and I'm able to test out uh, or I'm able to water cool single board computers because it has this fitting here. I could put some uh, double-sided thermal transfer adhesive tape, put it right on top of the CPU, and I could do all my testing. And I, I freaking love it. So I'm gonna we're gonna put all of all seven of those Raspberry Pis here. They're gonna be lined up, and I'm gonna have a loop going to each one of them. So it's gonna look cool. Plus, we're gonna have this here. This is the switch. It's an eight-port switch. I've used this for years. I think this is the same switch I used in the original. A Raspberry Pi cluster computer series. So, so this switch has definitely served me well. Now I'll definitely be using this one. This is an A port. The reason uh, I'm using this one is because uh, it has eight ports and seven of them I need for Raspberry Pis and the final port I'll need for my router. Uh, the reason I didn't go with like eight Raspberry Pis and I went with seven is because I only have this uh, eight port switch. I need an extra port to go to my router. So that's why I had to limit the amount of Raspberry Pis to only seven. So otherwise I would have done that. But in the future I was thinking of getting like a 24 port uh, gigabit switch. So we'll see what happens. If this project goes well, uh, I'll scale this thing up. I'll make this thing like the biggest like point Raspberry Pi project out there. So and uh, you'll also need uh, these micro SD cards. I have a bunch of them. I just didn't bring them out. And I will be making a bunch of like the patch ports for this. I, I'm not buying them. I can just make them myself. I know how to do that. And yeah, I'm really excited for this project. This is not everything that's going to go in the project. Some things might change. I might change, I, I might even add more Raspberry Pis, you never know. But it's definitely going to be water cooled. It's definitely going to be a Boink cluster. <laughs> and it's going to be another supercomputer uh, cluster series. If you guys liked any of my supercomputer uh, Raspberry Pi series, you're definitely going to like this one. So yeah, that's pretty much it. I figured I'd show you guys all the parts. This is part one of the video where I show you the parts. Part two, we're going to put the thing together. I think it's going to be a part four. Part three and four where we're programming and testing it out. So I'm really excited. Hopefully you guys are excited too. Okay, that's it for this video. If you guys like this video, please give me a like. If you want more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel. I'm Rasim from RossmarTech.com and thank you guys for watching.